In this video I show how a certain expression can be rewritten into a new form and we then solve the equation as given. Now if we look at the given equation, if I times by cos theta I will end up with tan theta equals cos theta. So I've cross multiplied. Now then, we know that tan theta is defined to be sine theta over cos theta. So sine theta over cos theta equals cos theta. Tan equals cos. If I multiply it by cos theta again, so cross multiply, I get sine theta equals cos squared theta. However, one of the key facts or equations or identities is that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is always 1. That is an absolutely essential fact to know. So cos squared theta must equal 1 minus sine squared theta. So if I sub that into my equation, cos squared equals 1 minus sine squared theta. I've therefore shown the required result. So, to solve this equation is the same as solving this equation. And what I do is I replace sine by an s. So s equals 1 minus s squared. It becomes a quadratic equation. So I will rearrange that to get it equal to 0. I will add across the s squared. So I've added across the s squared. There was an s there already and I will take away the 1. So my equation is s squared plus s take 1 equals 0. Now this does not factorise, so I will have to use the quadratic formula. So a equals 1, b equals 1, and c equals minus 1. So s will equal minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by two lots of a. So let's keep on going then. Minus 1 plus or minus now b squared minus 4 times a times c minus 4 times minus 1 is, five, is 4 so 1 plus 4 is 5 so I get root of 5 all over 2. So this gives me two options for s. I've got minus 1 plus root of 5 divided by 2 almost there so one option is s equals plus 0.618 the other option is where I replace the plus root 5 by a minus root 5 and end up with minus 1.618 so these are my two values for sine. So either sine theta is 0.618 or sine theta equals minus 1.618. However, the question is to solve to find theta, not what sine theta is. So to find theta, I must inverse sine that value. So theta will equal the inverse sine of 0.618. So shift sign 0.618 and I get the angle of 38.2 degrees. That is one solution. However, there are two solutions for any given sign value. To find the other solution, the rule is to do 180 minus your other angle. So 180 minus 38.2 is 141.8. And just to verify this, if I do sine of this angle, I do get 0.618. So they are my two angles from that part of the equation. To get other solutions possibly, I would have to inverse sine this value. However, 
when you try to inverse sign this, you get a maths error. Just to show you this, inverse sign of minus 1.618, math error. That is because sine cannot take values which is below minus 1 or above 1. There are no solutions there. It's not a problem. The only two solutions we have for this range of values is 38.2 and 141.8.